Welcome to Wired In. I'm Diana Galata with Hampton City Schools. I'm pleased today to be joined by Adam Neely. Welcome. Thank you. Adam is our coordinator of the International Baccalaureate Program. So before we get started, let's talk a little bit about your background. Where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? And how did you uh, get to the role that you're in right now as the coordinator of our program? Sure. I actually uh, I grew up in uh, Newport News in Hampton. Uh, my father was in the military, and so we moved to the Newport News Hampton area when I was two. And in the middle of seventh grade, my, my mother and father bought a house in Hampton and we moved there. So I went to Davis Middle School and graduated from Bethel High School in 1999. So you're a Bethel Bruin. I, I'm a Bruin, yes, proudly, yes ma'am. Great. Mm -hmm. And so what did you do after graduating from high school? Sure, um, I went to college at William & Mary and during my junior and senior year at William & Mary, uh, the fraternity that I was a member of uh, did philanthropy at the local middle school. And so I was working in tutoring students there. And so I decided when I graduated to pursue a master's degree in education from William & Mary and go into education and try that for a couple of years and see how that worked and still here. I uh, got my uh, first teaching job at Hampton High School uh, back in 2003 and I taught social studies there and worked with the International Baccalaureate program from year one and also taught advanced placement courses, honors courses, et cetera. But the International Baccalaureate program was part of my teaching career for all nine years. Coached soccer at Hampton High School. Uh, was a department chair there and in 2013 I graduated from Old Dominion University with a degree in educational leadership and this position that I'm currently in now as International Baccalaureate Program Coordinator opened up and it seemed like a very nice fit working with a program that I taught in for nine years and now having the opportunity to coordinate that. So tell us what it, what your job looks like on a daily basis as the coordinator. What is it that you do on a daily basis? Um, might seem like a cliche to say there's a daily basis, things change day to day. Uh, there's three really big parts for me as far as this role uh, throughout a school year. Uh, one, I look at it as support. Uh, first off, support for students and parents. Uh, this is a four-year program at Hampton High School. And so navigating ninth grade, that transition to high school, uh, navigating the junior and senior years or taking the more rigorous coursework that this program offers them and working with the parents on like you know, action plans, time management, and really providing that support piece for students. I look at a support for teachers as well, having constructive conversations about curriculum, instruction and assessment, working with the finance department to provide instructional supplies and resources that teachers need. Um, working with organizational development to provide professional development for the teachers that IBO requires. And um, also working with the guidance department and administrative team at Hampton High School on scheduling, master schedule, and kind of, you know, encompassing that piece of it. Uh, this is a program also where I look at recruitment as being a big part of it as well. Um, going out to the middle schools and working with the guidance directors and administrative teams at all eight middle schools in Hampton um, to identify students that would be a good fit for this program. Taking high school credit courses in a middle school environment um, and working with the parents and the middle school students to kind of make sure this is a good fit for them and ease that transition into them. So it's a, pro it's a job where you're looking at basically grade 8 to grade 12 on a yearly basis. Um, and I also work with the assessment piece by uh, working with the internal and external assessments that IBO requires. And so working with the teachers to get the internal assessments in and sent off uh, to IBO for moderating and then doing the external assessment schedule in April and May with the kids and so there's a lot that goes into it but day to day really that support piece with students and parents and teachers is huge and I think the most important part of the job. So it sounds like you do not have a boring job at all. No ma'am it's a job <laughs> I really enjoy. I do. So tell us a little bit more about the program because the International Baccalaureate has a fabulous reputation mm -hmm worldwide and it's really exciting that we actually have the program here mm -hmm. in Hampton at Hampton High School. So tell us a little bit more about it and why a student might be interested in going into the program. Um, the program was started in the late 1940s um, and it really kind of started, the instructional piece started in 1968 in Geneva, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea behind the program originally was to provide a transient population, whether it's military, diplomats, etc., a way to prepare for competitive colleges and universities with a standard system where when they go from school to school, country to country, they don't have to sacrifice by losing credits or being placed in classes that don't really make much sense to them. And since 1968, when it was officially instruction officially started in Geneva, Switzerland, it's gone into 146 countries around the globe. And at Hampton High, in Hampton High School specifically, I like this for students, the military area transient population and it's very common for students to be able to find an IB World School if they happen to move from this area. 
Um, I would also say that for the students that are involved in the program, educationally it offers one of the most rigorous programs that Hampton City Schools offers. The GPA benefits if you work hard is fantastic. And being a part of a curriculum that's not just the city, state, or nation, global in aspect, and having that piece with IB Americas, IB Mid-Atlantic, I think is really attractive for students and parents. So I'm guessing then one of the big differences between, say, international baccalaureate and advanced placement is the international baccalaureate is more of an international mm -hmm. program with reciprocal type courses across mm -hmm. the world, as an advanced placement is more of a national program that does offer the um, college mm -hmm. credit. Um, so how does the International Baccalaureate work then when the students go into college? How does it help them and for the, how does it help those college bound students? Well there's the, the, the tangible and the intangible piece. Um, during their senior year students take their external and internal assessments that are sent out to IBO for moderating. And colleges and universities can offer college credit if the students do well on those courses and those examinations, much like advanced placement. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've had students that have earned three semesters of college credit going out of the program. Um, and then there's the intangible piece for students. Um, and this is something that you kind of do that straw poll thing. Uh, but in my 13 years associated with the program, nine as a teacher and four in this role now, I'm lucky enough to be able to talk to students that have graduated from the program. And I have yet to hear a kid come back during their freshman or sophomore year of college and not say this program prepared them for the rigors of college and university, prepared them with writing, research, analysis, critical thinking, the hands-on work that they're doing in their science classes, history class, et cetera. And so kids talk glowingly about the program. And for juniors and seniors, they're very adamant in telling the freshmen and sophomores, this is a worthwhile program to stay in. I'm seeing the benefits of it. And graduates, when they come back and talk to the juniors and seniors about how it helped them for college and university, that's really, I think, where the, the big thing is for the kids. It's they take ownership of it as well. So if I had a student who was interested in the program, what would they need to do to become part of the program? Um, each middle school, uh, currently, we're going through the application process and the interview process. And so if this is something that they're interested in doing, being a part of a name brand educational program in 146 countries, you can contact your middle school guidance director. Um, you can also contact me directly, and there's a number of ways you could do that. Uh, you can go to the Hanson High School webpage, and my phone number and email is there. Um, you can go to the division website under Academic Advancement and Enrichment, and my phone number and email is there as well. And also there's an International Baccalaureate site on the division website as well. And so if you contact your middle school guidance director or contact me directly, um, if you're interested in like a, a shadowing visit where you can kind of go and take your student and you and walk through the building, I can help broker that and kind of talk about individually why this program might be a good fit for your student. And that one, benef one other benefit is that you automatically become a crabber as yes, a yes, Hampton yes. High School student, so that's yes. positive a very, as well. A very active alumni network, a very active faculty and staff and students, and it really is a great place to go to school and work. It really is. Well, I learned uh, something additional today. I didn't realize that the IB program also offered the college credits. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just advanced placement. So that's really good information mm -hmm. for parents to have, that mm -hmm. if you want your student to uh, earn those advanced um, college credits, you can do that that through IB as well as advanced placement. So it's great to have those choices. Yeah, in and, and what, I, what I tell parents when I talk to them and when I work with uh, the guidance director that works with IB, Mrs. Ambrosino, to talk to students, this is a program that provides a lot of flexibility for students. Mm -hmm. And so for the four-year program, you're working with the IB cohort with students that, you know, that you're going to get to know and become a family as far as that's concerned. But it also provides room in the schedule to take advanced placement courses as well. And if students are interested in participating in the Aerospace and Information and Technology Academy it's at Hampton High School. We have kids that take electives there. And so it's not a program where that's all you get to do for four years. You take those core classes, do those assessments, work with the teachers, work with your cohort, but you're also allowed to explore other interests and options as well. And so it's a really nice program for the student that wants to try a little bit of everything. I think it's a great fit for them as well. Well, I'm glad to hear, especially with our focus on academies moving into the future, mm -hmm. that if you go into the IB program, you can take advantage of the academy at mm -hmm. Hampton High School. That's a phenomenal choice as mm -hmm. well. Is there anything else that you'd like to share about IB before we close today? Um, I would say that for this program, like the, the heartbeat of it is the students. Mm -hmm. And so over the course of my 13 years there, we've had students go to Harvard, Princeton, New York University, Columbia, University of Chicago, the military academies, the list goes on and on. And hearing the kids' excitement about going with me to middle schools to recruit students and hearing alumni that want to come back and talk to the students really kind of tells you 
the program and how much the kids love it. Mm -hmm. And so they're willing to speak, you know, glowingly about it when they go out. And I don't give them a script. They come up with what they say. It's an open mic situation. And hearing that and hearing them come back and genuinely say it helped them out, mm -hmm. I think really is what it's about. You know, getting them where they want to go, making sure they can kind of plan for their career and set them up uh, with scholarship success if they work hard so they can get where they need to go. Well, that's great. Thanks so mm -hmm. much for coming on today and sharing that Sure. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching Wired In. Have a great week.